Botox Body Ivanka Trump is accused of cultural appropriation after she donned a series of Oriental-style gowns during her solo trip to India. Ivanka Trump's fashion choices were slammed by an Indian news outlet who called her attire a superficial assimilation of their culture. The first daughter and businesswoman was enrobbed in an ivy green and yellow Oriental-style dress at the Entrepreneurship Summit during her trip to the country this week. Along with the pricey $3,500 ER Dom Geneva floral print gown, Trump also wore a $3,498 blue and gold Tory Birch ensemble with similar patterns. The Daily O lambasted the Birch number and described it to be the Me Too of a Kashmiri friend for the Prime Minister's banquet at the Tafalak Numa Palace. While speaking at an event in Hyderabad, the city long time known for pearl trading, the president's advisor displayed a black and pearl embroidered Tory Birch Sylvia jacket. It referenced India with the embroidery, but in reality it looked like a cheap brand ripping off designer Rahul Mishra, the Daily O said of the jacket. Also in Hyderabad, Trump wore a printed Saloni Bodhaw red and black ensemble with release leaves. In her defense, Ivanka's outfit changes have been kept in character with her previous wardrobe choices, the report went on to say. Being totally tone deaf to the nuances of public appearance to be fair, she only has her father as her role model. The Indian news outlet further pointed out the fashion designer's choice of dress during a recent visit to Japan. While she had the choice of picking the most amazing designers, she selected the cherry blossom print, kimono-inspired dress made by the Colombian designer Johanna Ortiz. The report went even further, and slammed M.S. Trump who they said represents the American dream of being a Botox Barbie. Editor-at-large of Vogue India, Bank Benatawari, explained to the New York Times in a statement that she hopes for an authentic sartorial tribute to their ancient, rich culture in the future, and perhaps with more designs made in India. We would rather see her wear a hand-woven sari made in our country or a handmade gown made in her own country, said Tawari. But to hybridize the two, in an era of unfiltered diversity, is a superfluous nod to half acceptance. The mother of three, 36, has not commented on the matter.